Today we will learn about different rules of differentiation or rules for finding derivative. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a separate sheet of paper and write down uh, on the top over there uh, basic formulas or rules for differentiation and copy only on all of these formulas on that sheet of paper as the, as the time will pass there will be lots of formulas you will get on that sheet of paper and that will act as your formula sheet. So number one formula is d by dx of x is 1. So how do you how do I read this you know let me write it over here. So this is over here if I'm reading this d by dx okay. So d by dx of x the formula is your 1. So whenever you are having something like this let's take an example d by dt and this uh, this variable is t over here your answer will be 1 because what we are doing is we are differentiating with respect to t. Let's take an example I have something like this d by dm of m so my answer will be what 1. So in this case I was having d by dx of x is what 1. Simple words when you are uh, finding the derivative of only one variable by itself with respect to this x or whatever is this that will be your answer will be 1. Okay now next very important rule is your power rule. Power rule is what for all exponents n d by dx of x of x to the power n is n x n minus 1. So sometimes you will see they okay so this like this let's take an example if the function is like this y is equal to x to the power n when you are finding y prime this means what you are finding the derivative whenever you find derivative you put prime over here and your formula is what n x n minus 1 that's your formula okay and I will explain to you how this formula works in the upcoming slides. Okay, so next one over here, next formula for us is what? Derivative of a constant function uh, c is 0. So this, what this is telling you is, what this is telling you, if you are having, oh, sometimes you will see there is a derivative over here says d by dx of 5. So question is asking you to find the derivative of 5. Do you see any x with this, anything? No. So your, this is a constant, your answer is what? 0 over here. Similarly, we have number 4, derivative of radical x, this is your 1 over 2 radical x. So just go ahead and copy all of these formulas over here. I gave you four formulas. First formula I gave you uh, d by dx or derivative of x is what? 1. And power rule is what? d by dx x to the power n is what? nx n minus 1. And constant function derivative is 0. And derivative of radical x is what? 1 over 2 radical x. And I will explain to you in the upcoming slides. So let's practice some question. Plus make sure you copy these formulas on a sheet of paper and put it on your side. All right, so let's start with this one over here. So let me zoom in. It says question number one, it says find the derivative of x to the power 5. So first of all, let me write it like this. The question is like this, y is equal to, y is equal to, y is equal to, or I can write f of x is equal to. Now I'm finding what I'm finding derivative of this. So derivative of this, it will be like this d by dx of y because that's a derivative I'm taking whatever I'm doing I need to do the same thing on both the sides. Now what is your power rule? Your power rule says let me write it over here is very easy no, not, nothing tricky is very very easy okay power rule says whenever you are having something like this uh, x to the power n okay so your this is n this n comes down x you write the x whatever is this and you do n minus 1. So in this case what happens is what is your n? n is your 5. So what is happening is x to the power 5. So what happens is this n come down so 5 came down and you subtract 1 over here. So what is the answer? Your answer will be 5x to the power 4. It will be 5x 5 minus 1 it will be what? 5x to the power 4 and this is your answer over here. Let's try one more. Okay, no, no rush. First of all, this is y. You know, I, I, when I'm taking derivative, I can write y as y prime also. Now, what is the rule? Rule says if you are having the formula power rule says x to the power n is what n x n minus one. So this exponent it comes down and it do two things comes down and you subtract it also. So in this case, this exponent comes down seventeen and what is happens? You subtract this one from this one over here. What is the answer? 17x to the power 16. All right. So let's try this one over here. Let's do number three. You can pause the video and try on your own also number three. So this says y is equal to x to the power 9. So when I am finding the derivative, I'll write y prime is equal to 
power rule says what it says bring the exponent down which i brought it down and subtract one from the exponent okay so two things are happening this nine is coming down you subtract one also nine what is the answer nine minus one is eight and this is your answer for this this is how you find the derivative of the given function let me bring some different examples all right so i brought some different examples over here we will do the same thing as we were doing earlier finding the derivative of these so we have been given the function f of x is equal to x square now remember what is your power rule your power rule says whenever you are having a function like this x to the power n you bring the n down over here and you subtract one from the exponent that's the thing you do so in this case this you are having two so what you do you bring this two down over here you write x and you subtract one from the part over here so what is your de derivative of this one this is your 2x to the power 1 which is just your 2x okay so let's let's do another one over here what about x to the power 3 so what is happening is you bring the power down over here that's your 3 and you subtract one from the new uh, exponent so 3 minus 1 is what 2 so this is a derivative for x to the power 3 pause the video and find the derivative of x to the power 4 Yes, you got it right. So you bring down the 4 over here and you subtract what? 1 over here and what is the answer? 4x to the power 3. All right, this is your 5x to the, x to the power 5. So again, you bring down this 5 over here. You subtract 1 from the power over here. Your answer is 5x to the power 4. That's your answer over here, 5x to the power 4. This is how you do power rule. Uh, let's practice one more, some more problems. You know, uh, you, this is x to the power 6 so so let's take an example they gave you y is equal to x to the power 6 what do you do derivative of y is what y prime and what about this you bring your exponent uh, down 6 and you subtract 1 from the exponent so what is the answer 6x to the power 5 this is how we apply the power rule let's do another example pause the video and try to do the second question on your own this one give me the answer yes you are right let's check your answer so you bring down the exponent over here and you subtract one where from the exponent it's simple what is this 10 x to the power 9 so what is the rule we are following we are using power rule you bring down the exponent and subtract one from the exponent oops in this case there is no exponent how you do this now some of you said oh i know the formula mr gupta gave me the formula my formula is over here you remember i gave you the formula derivative of radical x is what 1 over 2 radical x i will just write like this but some of you like how how in the world i will be using the power rule for this so for this question what happens is let's first of all rewrite the question radical x and you all know we can rewrite the radical x like this also x to the power one half okay because this this is how we can write it now what you do after this is you take the derivative on both the side what is the derivative y y prime and over here what you do you bring down the exponents which i did over here and you subtract one from the exponent now write it like this okay so after this what happens is one over two is over here i want you to subtract this part using calculator this part over here using calculator don't do mental math do using calculator so when you do one one half minus one it will give you negative one half so whenever you have something with a negative power what you do you bring the whole term where in the denominator because a negative exponent so your answer is 1 over 2 x to the power 1 half now you know this what was x to the power 1 half it was radical x so my final answer will be 1 over 2 radical x which brings us back to the formula which i showed you over here so this is the derivative of this so let's practice some more problem i want you to practice some more problems over here same thing find the derivative of uh y is equal to x to the 99 what is the derivative of y either you can write it like this dy over dx or you can also write it like this y prime it's the same thing okay now what happens with this part you bring down the exponent 99 and you subtract one from the exponent it's easy and simple so your answer is 99 x to the power 98 okay it should be clear to you what about this one over here let me rewrite this y is equal to x to the power 989 what you will do derivative of y is what y prime what about this one when you apply the power rule you bring this down exponent and you subtract one no need to write it down 908 988 that's your answer 
Let's try this one over here. Now, this, the question is not clear, but I will read out the question for you. It is x to the power negative 20. Uh, do not worry about the exponents and all. Okay, same, same procedure. Derivative of y is y prime. What about this? You bring down the exponent, which I brought in negative 20, and you subtract 1. Now, I want you to use a calculator to do this part over here. Do not rush. Just, just take your time. Do it. Okay, so this will be yours. x to the power negative 20 okay now what is having a negative exponent now do keep in mind 20 is not a part of this only x is having a negative exponent so what happens is we make the power positive it will go to the denominator only this the stuff so now you have a positive x uh, positive power and this is your answer over here so let's practice some more question over here x to the power negative 78 what do you do is you are supposed to write over here y is equal to x to the power negative 78 when i differentiate y it will be y prime what happened to this side you bring down the exponent negative 78 and you subtract what you subtract one from the exponent so it becomes like this negative 78 now use your calculator for this it will give you x to the power negative 79 so now what is happening with the negative powers you will bring it in the denominator what only this x you will bring it where to the denominator so it will be like this negative 78 and when you bring it to the denominator it changes to positive that's your answer there you go now i want you to uh, instead of writing this uh, solve this problem for me this is number five y is equal to x to the power negative five okay just do it in your head and give me the answer. Don't don't write. Just look at the problem. Pause the video and give me the answer for this. Yes, you are right. I did. I also did mental math over here. I brought my negative five down and I subtracted one, which will give me negative five minus one is negative six. Since my negative this part is exponent, this part is my uh, negative. I brought it down over here to my denominator section, and that's my answer over here. Okay, let's do another one problem over here. Now it says y is equal to 3 times x cubed. There is no y. Let me write it over here. So what I do over here is I found the different derivative of the left side. That's your y prime. Don't do anything with this 3. Just keep it like this. Now when I keep it like this, I'm having what? x to the power 3. What I do with x to the power 3? Only look at this part over here only. I bring down this over here. And I will subtract 1 from the, uh, from 3, 3, that will be 2. So my answer will be 3x square. What can I do? I can simplify this. 3 times 3 is 9x square. That's my answer over here. Okay, so this is what this is how we do. Let's do some more problems. So this says 10x to the power 9. Mm, what do you do over here? Just write 10 over here. Okay, don't do anything with the 10. And what what will happen to the x to the power 9? Yes, you bring down this over here and you subtract 9 minus 1 is 8. That's it. Your answer is what? 90 x to the power 8. That's your answer. Let's do another one. Again, don't do anything with the negative 5. You are only working it with this one over here. What happens is you bring down the exponent. That's your negative 4 and you subtract 1 from the power. But that's the power rule. Now you can use your calculator negative 5 times negative 4 will give you positive 20. And this is yours negative 5. If you are able to find the pattern by now, that's great. You don't have to write. You can just uh, look at the question and you can solve this. So since that's negative, it goes down. That's your answer. Now let's look at another one over here. Let's pretend, the, let's write it clearly. This is, let's say, this is f of x, negative 20, x to the power 9. So how I will solve this? You know, derivative of f of x is what? f prime x. I'm not doing anything with negative 20. That's my coefficient. Write it over here. You need to work with this. This is a positive 9. You bring 9 over here. You subtract 9. Sorry, 1 from the 9. 9 minus 1 is what? Let me write all the steps for you. So this is your negative 20. And that's your 9x, 8. And that's my negative 180. x to the power 8. And that's my answer. Now, after this, I want you to practice some problems from the worksheet and just uh, master skills.